Hello. This tutorial deals with the Create a Map feature that's available in the latest version of FactFinder. American FactFinder is a service of the U.S. Census Bureau. You can use it to access population, housing, economic, and geographic data that's collected by the Census Bureau. FactFinder has recently undergone an upgrade. The old platform will not be available after Fall 2011. The URL address for this latest version is www.factfinder2.census.gov. This tutorial deals with this latest version of American FactFinder. We'll be creating a map that shows a visual representation of the number of persons living in adult group homes in each of the subdivisions of Westchester County. The first step is to choose our topic. We'll click on the Topics tab and in the search box, type disability. As we type, American FactFinder suggests topic areas. We'll choose disability and click go. Now we need to add our geographic area. On the geographies tab, we'll click it. You can filter by the geography filter options or you can type in a specific area. We'll use the box and type in Westchester County. As we type again, FactFinder will also suggest known geographic areas. We'll choose Westchester County, New York, and click Go. We now have a list of all the subdivisions of Westchester County. For our purposes, we're going to choose all county subdivisions within Westchester County, New York. We'll check the box and click Add. This has now been added to our search criteria in this Your Selections box. We'll close the Select Geographies tab. And what we have is a list of the data products that are available to us that are relevant to our search criteria. We are interested in this group quarters population by group quarters type. We can see that it comes from the 2010 census and that all of the data has been loaded into FactFinder. What we see is a table of the data. Each of the subdivisions of Westchester County, New York are located on this table, as well as the breakdown for housing by group home. We'd like to create a map. We'll click Create a Map, and then we're instructed to choose the criteria that we're mapping. We're interested in this group homes intended for adults. We'll click on the cell that intersects group homes and Bedford. This will collect the data for the entire row or category. We'll click show map. You may need to scroll up to see the map. What we see is a map detailing the population concentrations for adult group homes in Westchester County. At this point, you can pan or zoom in on the map. You can change the map colors or transparencies on the map. You can add boundaries and features on the map. Or you can recenter the map on a particular location by using the Find a Location area. This can be done by place name, address, or latitude and longitude coordinates. Let's enter an address. The map has now been recentered on the address that we located. It does not mark it for us, but we can add our own marker if we like. You can click on the map markers. You can add either text or point. You can change the color or the size. There you have it. That's how you can create a map using American Fact Finder. I hope that this tutorial has been useful. If you're interested in learning more about American Fact Finder and what can be done with it, visit American Fact Finder at www.factfinder2.census.gov.